where can you get the best burger in Knoxville? We are talking the best places to get a burger, why they're the best, what they have, what you should order. Let's dive in and get started. All right, so I would consider myself a bit of a foodie. I'm certainly a food snob and I always want good food. Like if I'm gonna eat out, it needs to be worth it. As I say, like I'm not just going to some random place to eat out just because like it's to eat out. Like if I'm gonna eat out there, it's gonna be good. Okay, so that being said, this is broken down into my personal, like what came to mind when I thought best burger, where you gotta go, what you gotta try. And in an effort not to leave anyone off, I double checked my list on Google. So we're gonna talk about my recommendations and then stuff that I've missed and or haven't tried yet that definitely is on the list to try. So let's get going. This is in no particular order. The first one is literally just as they came to my mind. And the second one is, you'll see from when I Googled. So number one is a bridge. It's called a bridge beer company. There's multiple locations. They have one, um, the brew pub, which is at the bottom of Bearden Hill, which is like the original abridged um, back in the day when I was a teacher, we would go there and it was a relief on a Friday afternoon, if you know what I'm saying. Then um, I think the North Peters, which is the abridged world headquarters opened. Um, and they also have a food truck at Zool in the old city. So, and it's strictly their burgers. Their burgers are awesome. And they also have like, they've got great friends. Everything they have is good, okay? I mean, wings, they've got pizzas at the world headquarters. Their fries are the bomb. If you go to the food truck at Zool, this sounds weird. Maybe it doesn't sound weird. I thought it sounded weird, but you can get French fries with queso. You dip them in the queso. Anyways, the burgers are awesome. Get the plain burger, it's awesome. They also usually have like themed burgers like at the world headquarters. Um, and I guess they have burger specials at the brew pub. It's been a while since I've been out there and that one tends to get very crowded. The parking is a little bit limited. Whereas the world headquarters is just a larger spot and then Zool, I mean, that could get crowded too. Anyways, a bridge, you gotta try it. Get the fries. Oh, also their pretzels and beer cheese, so good. Um, everything they have is good. Okay, next up, this is an obvious one. It's Stock and Barrel. If you're a bourbon person, this is also the place to go. Stock and Barrel is the same group as Chivo. So if you know what Chivo is, Stock and Barrel, which is also the same as the new barbecue place, which is the name is escaping my mind, but Humble Hawk. But anyway, Stock and Barrel, their thing is burgers. Like it is, that is what they do. You want to get there early. You might need a reservation and you may be able to grab a seat at the bar. They have great fried pickles, by the way, if you're into that kind of thing. Their sides are good. The fries are great. Um, I mean, it's an obvious one. And when we get to the Google part, it's obviously, all, if you Google right now, burgers in Knoxville, Stock and Barrel is going to show up. It's going to be crowded. It's on Market Square. Prepare yourself for a wait or get there early. And what do I, I think I've tried something different every time, but it, they're all really good. Okay. Ye old Steakhouse. This is, does not show up on Google. And I'm telling you the burger is the bomb. It's so good. First of all, it's huge. Number one, but number two, it's so good. The combination of like the bun and the burger, whew, it's amazing. Um, and Yield is down Chapman Highway in South Knoxville. So yeah, you gotta try it, go there. Now, we usually now get them to go. This is actually Yield Steakhouse. I don't know if you've, I don't know if I've even told this story on here, but this is where Shay took me for our first date. And Yield is like Cracker Barrel, except without the country store. And um, it's local paraphernalia on the walls. And they don't serve alcohol. It's BYOB, except beer. I don't drink beer. This homeboy, now my husband, ordered a beer and I was like, well, do they have wine? He's like, no. Wouldn't you think you might find that out before you take someone on a first date? If they drink beer or not, and then you would find out like, does the restaurant I'm taking him to? I'm a rhinestone cowgirl. <laughs> He giggles every time I tell this story. But anyways, he old steakhouse. I'm telling you, the burger is the bomb. Also, if you're like a homemade desserts person, they have like red velvet cake and chocolate cake, whatever. Anyways, okay. Number four, not Watson's. They actually have a really great turkey burger. Um, and it's also on Market Square. Hi, uh, one of my friends 
Um, actually, Chelsea goes, she's, shout out to Knox City Roofs. She's the owner of Knox City Roofs and this is like one of her top places to get a burger, not Watson's. So they're very good. They've got, also they do a burger salad so you can get any of the burgers on a salad. Love it, love that. So that is not Watson's. Um, Appalachian, this is actually in downtown Sevierville. I know it's not Knoxville, whatever. If you are up for an adventure or you happen to be going to Sevierville or Pigeon Forge or whatever, you're gonna go to Dollywood, blah, blah, blah. Go to Appalachian, sit at the bar. That's what we always do. I mean, you can get a table. I'm just saying you might need a reservation. So maybe call ahead if you're not going to sit at the bar, but sit at the bar, get the burger. I will also say this, if you are, I think you should get your meat one, you know what I'm saying, order it. Um, like if you normally did medium rare, I would get it medium. They tend to, what I would call undercook and they would say, no, we cook it correctly. But I'm just telling you my experience is, um, like I get it medium well, and even that is like a little undercooked for me, but the burger is so good. So I just want to tell you, maybe order it a step up on the cooking process. Also, their fries are the bomb. I mean, the, this is li literally one of my favorite burgers ever of all time. They also, they have such, the food is super fresh. Um, but also I will say this, all of their entrees come with cornbread, a cast iron skillet of cornbread with a big pop of butter right in the center. And it is so good. But if you order a burger, you do not get that. So I'm telling you, get the person you're going with, in my case, the husband, to order not a burger and tell them you can have some of my burger. You can have some of my burger. Get the pork chops or whatever. And then you can get the cornbread. You probably could order the cornbread. Additionally, I'm just telling you the entrees come with it. So convince whoever you're with, you get the burger, you'll split it with them, and then you can get their cornbread. Just saying. Um, okay, next up, another one that if you Google, you're not gonna see this, but I'm telling you, it is so good, and I know it's kind of weird. It's the Dia Day food truck, which sits permanently at Southside Garage in South Knoxville. They have a green chili hatch, green chili, green chili hatch burger. I don't know what the order is, okay? But it is, so good. Actually, all their food is the bomb, but that burger, whew, it's good. Um, and they've got great like sides. Um, so I would do that. Okay. Do that for sure. And that's a good like game day option. Um, like people are not thinking of South Knoxville on game days. And I'm telling you, it is the best kept secret. Go down to South Knox. The vibe is great. There's great food. You can pretty much park anywhere. So anyways, Dia Day food truck in South Knoxville. Awesome burger. Go get it. They sometimes do burger specials similar to like what a bridge does. Um, so check that out too. Go look on their Instagram or Facebook or whatever. Okay. Another one that doesn't show up because this isn't even on the menu. And I still to this day don't know how I got it. But JC Holdaway in downtown, just past Market Square, Union Avenue, they have a hamburger and it is so good. I actually dream about this hamburger. And if you go look at their menu, there's not a hamburger on the menu. And I think what happened, we went in, we sat at the bar and I was like, I don't really know what I want. You know, blah, 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 blah. and he's like, what do you want a hamburger? And I was like, sure, that sounds great. And they made me a hamburger and it was so, actually, you know what? I think I saw it being made on the grill cause you can sit there right there. And I saw like someone's getting a hamburger. There's no hamburger on the menu, but that looks good. And so I was like, can I get a hamburger? And they're like, well, yeah. That they would probably be very disappointed that I'm telling you go there and order a hamburger because they have like really great high end food. Like it is a date night place, it's an occasion place, you know. But that being said, I'm telling you, get the hamburger. Don't tell them Haley Jones sent you. Okay, just act like, just act normal. Go there and say, hey, do you by chance, could you make me a hamburger? <laughs> to see what happens, okay? The worst they could say is no, and you know, but maybe don't go there with your heart set on it, but just think I'm open to this if the stars align. Number eight, again, this is another wild card, but I'm telling you, trust me, Babalu, my husband is obsessed with their burger, literally obsessed. And Babalu is basically 
I mean, they've got queso. They've got chips, they've got queso, they've got tacos. Um, they've got tapas. I mean, it's very good. They also have pitchers of drinks, like margaritas and sangrias. And pitchers of drinks are hard to come by, in my opinion, and they've got them. So I'm just telling you, it's a great option. But Bobaloo, also Bobaloo has a great wine uh, list, by the way, but that's not what this is about. We're talking about burgers. Bobaloo, burger, go get it. Um, and he actually got that because he was like trying to decide what he wanted and the bartender was like, I'm telling you, get the burger. It is so good, which you think would be so awkward because it's in the lat it's like a Latin slash Mexican food place. It's very good. Okay. Um, okay, that is okay, and then Smash City. Smash City actually, we've done a video about Shay and I went and uh it used to be in the um Regal the Regus building. What is that called? Oh my gosh, the food hall, not Kearns. The, the original food hall, whatever. But they now are on Central Avenue, basically in Old City, and they strictly pretty much do burgers, and they are very good, and they've got some really good sauces. So you can go see, actually, that video where we're, we each order something different, whatever, and it is very good, and their fries are great, too. This is a really good burger. Great, 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 great burger. Okay, ones I haven't tried yet that I want to try is Sevier Avenue Burger Company. This is back in South Knox on Sevier Avenue, all the people are raging about it. I've been in there for an appetizer and it was great. We ended up not eating dinner there because it was a weird night or whatever, but Severe Avenue Burger Company, everyone is saying it's amazing. So that is one to try. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, Severe Avenue Burger Company is in the location where Simple used to be. And actually, sad story, Simple had a great burger as well. I mean, it was like, but they closed. So now Sierra Avenue Burger Company is there and their burger is, their burgers are supposedly awesome. That's, I think that's it in terms of like what came to mind on my end. Now, let's see what the internet says. The internet said number one, Stock and Barrel. If you, no matter what you, no matter what list you find, Stock and Barrel is gonna show up as number one. That's what they're known for. That's what they do. Burgers are their thing, okay? Number two is called The Burgers and I forgot about this one. They used to be have a location on Sutherland Avenue. Their website says it's still there, but it's now something else. I don't think it's the burgers anymore, but there's one for sure in Powell and in Lenore City. Um, and I'm telling you, it's so good. They have this one that has like jalapenos on it. It's spicy and it is great. And their fries are really great too. They're very messy, these burgers, but they are very good. So that's called literally the burgers. And if you like, no offense the burgers, but your restaurant facade is very unassuming. You wouldn't think like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be so great. But I'm telling you, so good. Okay, that's the burgers. Another one on the internet is Litton's, whatever, L-I-T-T-O-N-S, Litton's, posh for yes. Um, they are a diner, old school diner, I think from the 50s or 60s. Original location is in Fountain City and is now in Fountain City. There was a Litton's downtown West when I was growing up and we actually went to the Litton's before every big concert we went to. So we saw Sandy Patty, we saw Winona Judd, Amy Grant. We would always go to Litton's with um, our friends, the Earls, um, cause they had two daughters and then my mom has two daughters, we would all go, whatever. Um, and they have these giant cookies. But um, Litton's has come up on the internet on multiple lists of having a great burger. It's definitely a diner, like that diner vibe. Okay, next up, we have Not Watson's. Again, that was mentioned quite often on multiple top places to get a burger list. Okay, number five that was on the internet that I haven't tried is In Skip Grill. There is one in Fountain City and there's one in Powell. Now, this looks legit. If you go to their website, um, they have like, a great looking menu, but all their um, burger burgers are named like after like things in Knoxville. So for example, they have a Nalen, they have a, a Popcorn Sutton, they've got a McGee Tyson, they've got an Elvis, a Middlebrook, a KMA, a Happy Holler, a Beard and Hill, a Dolly, a Panther Pride, Panthers for Pal, Sono. So they've got an Old City, a Govna. Um, anyways, Broadway. So that's really cool. Go there and I'm gonna go there too. You call me and you tell me what you think and I'll tell you what I think. We'll make a video when we go. So in Skip Grill, one in Fountain City and one in Powell, it looks awesome. So that is on the list as of today. Didn't even, I don't think I've ever even heard of this before. 
So I'm excited for that. Okay, number six, this is another one that's pretty interesting, but also came up on multiple lists is North Shore Brasserie, which would be another date night place like JC Holdaway. This is however in West Knox, think if you know North Shore and Ebenezer, it's at the end of North Shore, like here's North Shore going this way. And then Ebenezer cuts this way, kind of perpendicular. And you've got like a Kroger and a Corner 16 or whatever. Brasserie, uh, North Shore Brasserie is across the street from that. It's where pharmacy used to be before pharmacy went to Bearden in that same shopping center area, if you know what I'm talking about. If not, just go look on Google, okay? You may be like, hey, what the hell are you talking about? North Shore Brasserie, um, they've got, I mean, it's very unassuming, you would never know, but multiple times listed on the internet as a great place for a burger. So throwing that out there. Number seven, Balter Beer Works. Um, this Balter is in downtown. They have a really good menu, really fresh menu. I think Shay probably has had a burger from there before, and I'm trying to remember if I have, but that again came up on multiple lists um, as somewhere to try. So um, they also have a really good brunch and they've got a brunch burger. I do know that for sure. You can get a fried egg on it, I think. Do they have a fried egg? Anyways, just go there, okay? Um, and it's got a cool vibe. Like they've got a great outdoor space to sit in as well. Um, Bitburger, that is in Cedar Bluff. It's a 1980s themed place um, and came up again on multiple lists. So haven't tried it. It looks cool. It's kind of near um, the space bar. So there's that. Uh, and then Burger Boys, this is the last one. Burger, Boy, Burger Boys is this teeny, teeny, teeny drive through next to Kern's Food Hall. Now it predates Kern's Food Hall opening. Um, it's literally across from the La Herradura food truck on Chapman Highway. Um, raving reviews, 4.7 stars, 812 Google reviews, 4.7 stars. One to $10, okay? So that's certainly something you wanna try, Burger Boys. So their menu looks great. They've got all kinds of stuff. So um, yeah, those are my comprehensive list of places to eat a burger. The first nine we talked about, stuff I've been to. This, the stuff on the end was either stuff I've been to or is mentioned multiple times on multiple lists. Now, some of these I threw out too are kind of random, but I'm telling you, trust me, just go do it. Um, the first place you need to go, though, is abridged. If you've not been there, you have to go there. And then you need to go to Dia Day and try that. Okay, just trust me, just trust me. So I hope this has been helpful. If you feel like Haley, you completely missed the ball, you totally missed this place, please let me know. And I also wanna point out that these places are all over. Shay and I go all over the place. We live in Seymour, which means we can go to Sevierville, we can go to downtown, we can go to West Knoxville, wherever. We travel quite a bit to get a good, a good bite to eat, okay? So anyways, that being said, just go try these places. And if I'm in West Knoxville, I'm just telling you, I'm gonna convince him to go to a bridge. After my half Ironman on the way home, it was about dinner time. And I was like, hey, let's go to a bridge. He's like, it's so far from the house. I was like, but if we go to the house, there's nothing out there. And I go, don't you want? Well, we got a pizza. They have great pizzas there. Ooh, it's so good. Don't you want that pepperoni honey pizza? And it was a done deal. I'm just telling you, go there. It's so good. Anyways. All right, well, enjoy. Let me know what you think. And again, like I said, if I've missed something, tell me and I'll see you on the next video.